Hello, I'm Susan Woods. I started the Black Lives Matter Investigations series in June of this year. The reason I started the series is because I'm concerned about how the money is being misused that people donate to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation and its chapters. In this video message, I want to walk you through the steps to learning how to follow the money. How to follow the money that people give to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. This is the BlackLivesMatter.com homepage on the website. So step one of how to follow the money is you donate to Black Lives Matter by going to BlackLivesMatter.com and clicking on the donate button. After you click on the donate button and make your donation, it then goes to Act Blue. Now, Act Blue serves as a financial processing center, sort of like PayPal. It processes transactions that people use when they donate money to Black Lives Matter. So when you donate money on the BlackLivesMatter.com website, your donation goes to Act Blue. Now, how does Act Blue work? Act Blue, again, is a processing platform. And it focuses on processing transactions for Democratic candidates and committees, progressive organizations, and nonprofits that share their values for no cost besides besides a 3.95% processing fee on your donations. So whatever donation you make on the blacklivesmatter.com website, 3.95% of that donation is taken away by Act Blue as a processing fee. So this is step two of how to follow the money. A lot of people think that Act Blue somehow supports or supported the Biden campaign and the Biden campaign was somehow tied into Black Lives Matter because of that. That is absolutely not true. As you can see, Act Blue serves as a financial processing platform for any Democratic candidate, committee, or progressive organization, or nonprofits that serve or share their values. So just because BlackLivesMatter.com uses the Act Blue platform to process its payments, as well as the Biden campaign, that doesn't mean the two support each other. That's a misunderstanding that a lot of people have. Step three, Act Blue then sends your donation to the Tides Foundation. Now the Tides Foundation is a major conglomerate, if you will, that processes or acts as a fiscal sponsor for many nonprofit organizations across the world, okay? It says here that it's a philanthropic partner and nonprofit accelerator dedicated to building a world of shared prosperity and social justice. And I'm not gonna go into what the Tides Foundation is all about in detail. I invite you to read about it. But what I want to point out here is the Tides Foundation is the new fiscal sponsor for the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. And here's a little bit more information about this. In July, on July the 2nd, 2020, the Tides Foundation made an announcement that said 
Tides welcomes Black Lives Matter as a new partner. Okay? So, in July of this year, 2020, the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation became one of the organizations that the Tides Network uses to sponsor. In other words, the Tides Network Foundation is a fiscal sponsor for the Black Lives Matter Foundation. Black Lives Matter formalized its relationship with the Tides Foundation after Black Lives Matter prior fiscal sponsor Thousand Currents made the strategic decision to sunset fiscal sponsorships in order to focus on its core grant writing, grant making work. Okay, so for years since Black Lives Matter started essentially in 2013, Thousand Currents served as its fiscal sponsor. So what is a fiscal sponsor? A fiscal sponsor is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that will allow donations to be sent to it as tax deductible donations, okay, on behalf of an organization that does not have 501c3 status. You see, Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation does not have 501c3 status, believe it or not. You can go to irs.gov and go to tax exempt organization search and type in Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation and you will see for yourself that it does not have 501c3 status. Therefore, in order for it to accept tax deductible donations from people around the world, then they have to have a fiscal sponsor that has a 501c3 nonprofit status. For years, Thousand Currents served as its fiscal sponsor, but now the Tides Network Foundation is serving as its fiscal sponsor. So that when people give money to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, it is tax deductible because its fiscal sponsor, the Tides Network Foundation, has 501c3 status. I'm convinced all of these steps are intended to cause confusion and make it even more difficult to follow the money that people give to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. Because in order to know where the money goes, now we would need to go to the Tides Foundation website to look for the Form 990 information returns in order to see the itemized, itemized listing for Black Lives Matter donations. But remember, the Tides Network Foundation did not become a fiscal sponsor until July of this year, probably the end of June. It wouldn't make sense to start on July the 2nd. Probably the end of June is when the Thousand Currents fiscal sponsorship ended and then the Tides Network fiscal sponsorship began. So if you want to know where the money went for years, then you would have to go to Thousand Currents to find this Form 990 information return. It's just all convoluted for no reason because the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation could simply create its own 501c3 status. And then that way you could go to it to see where the money goes. This is an intentional attempt for people to become so aggravated they just give up while all of the money is being spent in ways that we don't know. We don't know where the money goes. So in step four, step four of how to follow the money, I don't know. This is step four. I'm continuing the Black Lives Matter investigation series. I've been doing this since June and I still cannot answer the question, 
Where is the money? Where is where is the money? People gave millions of dollars this year, this year alone, much less when you talk about from 2013 when they first started BlackLivesMatter.com up until now. But this year, after George Floyd was murdered, all of the rioting and protesting in the streets and then people who suddenly realized that there is a problem with the way black people are treated in this country. I don't know where they've been for 401 years, but there are many people who finally came to the realization and the acceptance that something is wrong. They just threw money at blacklivesmatter.com without vetting where the money goes. And now next year, they're going to wonder, okay, where is the money? Where is the money that I donated in hopes that I was going to make the black community better? Where is the money? It's so aggravating to me personally when I see people just giving money, giving money, giving money, and not holding Black Lives Matter leadership accountable for where the money is. And you can't hold them accountable because you don't know who they are. So it's just a terrible situation that did not have to happen. This was the perfect opportunity for BlackLivesMatter.com or Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation to really make a difference in the black community. When all of the dust settles and it's settling now, you're gonna see nothing's changed in the black community on the grassroots level. You still have all of the barometers in which you measure success showing black people at the bottom. There would never, ever, ever be another time when you see so many people marching and protesting for black people. You will never see that again. This was a one time opportunity that we missed. That we missed because of the lack of leadership. There is no leadership. Everything is running amok. We don't even know where millions of dollars are located that people gave. So step four is a continuation of Black Lives Matter investigations through December 31st, 2020. I'm not carrying these investigations over into next year because they literally make me sick, physically sick, physically sick. I feel nauseous when I think about the waste, the missed opportunities, the money that's wasted, that's missing, that did not go where people intended for their money to go. We're no better off. I'm talking about on the grassroots level. We're no better off than we were last year, despite the millions of dollars that people have poured into, or they thought they were pouring into the black community. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. I'm Susan Woods. I invite you to join me in these investigations. Help me uncover what is really going on. I have a Facebook page now, group page called Black Lives Matter Investigations. I invite you to join. It's open to the public. I know it may be uncomfortable to show yourself as someone who is also concerned. I've gotten so much backlash, negative backlash from black people because I'm speaking up and I'm asking questions. But I'm going to stop. I can't continue to do this because it's detrimental to my physical health. So until December 31st, I'm going to investigate. After that time, I'm going to turn all of my information over 
to media outlets, to the FBI, to anyone who will be willing to continue the investigation and to hopefully be able to get the answers that we all deserve. Thank you so much for your time and have a good day.